Hey everyone, Rick from Rick's RC and more. I got the, uh, the SCX24 in front of me. Uh, you probably haven't seen this truck in a while. I actually added the, uh, the roll bars on it out of the packaging. Um, it's been a while since uh, I did any upgrades or anything with it. So uh, I picked this up off of Amazon. It was uh, 20 bucks. This is a aluminum uh, link set. Comes with your your upper lower links uh, in aluminum. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be a whole lot heavier than the plastic links or not. I would assume they'd be a little heavier. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be installing them onto there and uh, open them up and kind of check the, the the quality of them and how easily they install stuff like that and let everybody know all right so as far as weight goes they probably really don't uh weigh much more than the uh the stock plastic links this is one of the the rear lower links and i don't have a scale to confirm that 100 percent, but by the feeling in my hand there's uh not a whole lot of weight difference so this this upgrade's not probably going to benefit uh so much as far as uh um lowering your center of gravity too much quality seems okay the inserts actually have little rubber o-rings if i get that to focus in between the fittings oh well, I'll, uh, I'll get the rear ones on and uh, we'll go from there okay so one of the issues i've run into here is the hardware that uh, comes with it they're they're all the same length whereas you have shorter and longer uh, hardware uh, from axial so the issue I have with the axial stuff is I find the head strip really easy uh, just trying to take them out uh, if you use the uh, Allen head that, that comes with the kit I find even though it hasn't been used that much it, it must be a soft metal and they want wants to strip the heads so I grabbed one of the Allen keys I have uh, which is able to get them out the the issue is with them already partially being stripped is is using that old hardware to install these new links so i think what i'm going to do is i think you only have to shorten down one everything else looks like it'll go all the way through though i'm not 100 percent sure yet about the lower front links so i think i'm gonna I got to shorten one down because I like the look of having all the same hardware throughout too. I don't really want to mix and match it and, and use some of the old hardware. So I'll, uh, I'll shorten that one down and see how we make out. All right, so that did the trick. The, uh, the upper rear links there, I was able to now thread that, bolt those all the way in because that hole probably goes all the way through um through the top of the the diff here and they were just they were hitting so you know, might have an issue with that in the front lower links here whether or not they come up past the middle part of there but uh we'll see but uh quick little fix the uh the, the steel of these is actually soft enough if you got a good pair of side cutters you can just cut it right off and then maybe just clean up the end a little bit and then uh continue on all right so the the rear is all done upper lower links you're not going to see any uh difference in ride height or anything obviously these are just direct replacements more of a like I said probably more of a visual upgrade than anything. I've never heard of anybody having an issue snapping plastic links on these. Just uh, to metal, maybe a low, little bit lower center of gravity. I don't know. Like I said, they're not a they're not a whole lot uh, 
heavier than the the plastic links like i said the, the quality seems to be pretty good on them though um these were i, I got these off amazon it's uh the, the company name is rz xylrc uh you can get these links in uh black red or uh silver and if you do have some uh color choices you do need to make sure though that you get the the link set for the c10 if that's what you have i believe the the deadbolt and the jeep jl uh u just the uh the original um jeep not the not the gladiator uh that's probably a that'd be a longer link set too so just make sure you get the right set so the rear is done uh i'm gonna go on to the front and uh let, let everybody know how everything goes together there oh uh and i didn't have to cut down for these these upper or sorry lower links i didn't have to cut any of those screws down you will notice these ones with the longer hardware they do stick out a bit uh, where they are, I can't see there being an issue of them getting caught on anything. You could cut them off. I'm going to leave them long. If I ever have anything strip out there, then I can put a little nut on the end of that and uh, hold that link in place in case uh, I do strip out that thin little plastic at one point. So let's uh, move on to the front. So don't... Uh, don't do what I did because these never come with uh, instructions and there is your your upper rear links and your lower front links there's like one millimeter difference don't mix those up because you're gonna wind up taking stuff apart and putting it back together um, if you go um, on Amazon where you buy these it shows the if you go down the description it actually shows you what length goes where uh, probably because there's a lot of people that probably made the same mistake I just made uh, I had a lot of trouble getting the stock hardware out for the upper uh, Y-Link, this guy here. It, uh, the head on it was just pretty much stripped right from the get-go. So it's a good thing this stuff comes with hardware. And yeah, it's the, uh, the squared off head, not the rounded head on the hardware. The stock hardware has got the, uh, the kind of rounded heads. You just, you don't get as much of a a grip with these um with your tools if you have a really nice set of allen uh allen keys or allen heads uh you'll probably be all right but uh i'm just using these little l handles so i got the the rears done again and the uh, i got the upper the upper y link in here and i'm just working on the bottom the bottom links on the front um one thing to to notice i don't know if you're going to see this on camera but with this uh this kind of a y link here this upper link there's actually it's actually you'll see here it's kind of concaved in for their drive shaft that's only on one side so make sure you're putting it in so that this side where it's kind of pinched in on the steel there that that's that's where your drive shaft's going through so that it, and that's so it doesn't hit it doesn't actually rub in the link because i know with the the upper links here uh, for the front that come with the kit it's I think the dry shaft is really close to rubbing on those so I'll finish this up and uh, we'll see the uh, we'll see the end result all right so we're all finished that up um, that took longer than it uh, should have that was uh, partially my fault one I uh, I did get the links mixed up I try not to do that <laughs> And then I really had trouble getting that one piece of uh, stock hardware out. It definitely, uh, it definitely adds to the looks of your rig. Let me turn this bright light out, maybe. It doesn't, uh, like I said, they don't feel a whole lot heavier than the stock plastic, so they might not. They'll, they'll lower your center of gravity a little bit, I would imagine, but. Uh, not not as much as i would have liked but uh if you were to get stainless steel links you would definitely uh be adding some weight there but uh with some of these crawlers it's not all about adding weight it's it's making them lighter so that was a that was a neat little project just a little little upgrade for this guy i just use him around the around the house this he's never been outside just uh just play around the house in the uh, winter months 
<clears throat> uh, the uh, this link kit was uh, it was about twenty bucks Canadian, I believe. I think it was like eighteen ninety nine and like plus tax, whatever, or seventeen ninety nine plus tax. And uh, um, you know, if you're Prime, it, it came the next day. I ordered it on uh, on Sunday, I believe, and it was it showed up Monday. And I'm just getting uh, just getting to it now. As you can see, I do have some brass on this uh, on this rig to make the front a little bit heavier. There's no battery in it right now. Uh, I was looking at um, some tires and rims for it, but uh, I don't I don't use it a whole lot, so I'm trying not to spend too much money on it. But if I find stuff like this uh, at a really good price on on Amazon, I'll uh, I'll give it a, a shot and and let people know uh, how well it works or what I think of it. Uh, the only other upgrade I would like to do to this is you can get, uh, you know, actually get it on Amazon, you can get the Emacs uh, servo upgrade where it comes with the servo, the servo mount, and the servo horn. And I believe they even have a package where you can get your, uh, get these steering links in aluminum as well. Because these are, uh, these are plastic. But uh, if I don't do the, uh, the Emacs servo upgrade, I may just as well uh, even just do the, the steering upgrade. Uh, you know, all my links are now aluminum. I might as well make those out of aluminum as well. Or order those. So, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, you can get this on Amazon. Uh, I think it adds to the looks. It's definitely, I, I, it's, they're probably stronger than the stock links, I would imagine. Not that I said, like I said, um, there's not a whole lot of people I've ever heard complain about snapping these. They're pretty... Uh, pretty pliable plastic well for now everybody get out enjoy your RCs